I'd like to introduce you to the newest platform supported by Rim Objects SDK and Data Abstract, JavaScript. This new JavaScript client support is included with each edition of Rim Objects SDK and Data Abstract, allowing you to add JavaScript clients to your existing servers. Let's take a closer look at what the JavaScript client brings to Rim Objects SDK and Data Abstract. JavaScript combined with HTML5 are the lingua franca of the web, allowing you to build client applications that run in most browsers, on the desktop, mobile, or wherever the web is found. Previously, you could build web applications with ASP.NET or similar server-side technologies. With these technologies, the client application runs on the server and then produces HTML to be rendered by the client. With the new JavaScript client support, the client execution is moved from the web server to the client. This reduces server round trips for a more responsive UI and less server load. The JavaScript client is also ideal for non-web-based clients like PhoneGap, Accelerator's Titanium, the open source WebOS, or the soon to be released Windows 8 Metro UI. Basically anywhere that can run JavaScript and make an XML HTTP request can now include a Rim Objects SDK or Data Abstract client. Using the JavaScript client, you have two options for combining it with other JavaScript or HTML. You can include those files in your Rim Objects SDK or Data Abstract server, or you can make use of the core support to serve these files from your existing web server. Cores, or cross-origin resource sharing, is a technology that allows the browser to pull JavaScript and HTML from two different web servers. Let's take a short look at the new JavaScript client in action. When you install the latest version of Rim Objects SDK or Data Abstract, you'll get support for the new JavaScript client. You'll notice there's two folders here, Rim Objects SDK for JavaScript and Data Abstract for JavaScript. These are the folders that contain the source code for the JavaScript client library. Just like all of our other platforms, this is a from the ground up implementation specific for working with JavaScript. It comes with full source, so you can come in here, view the source code to know exactly what's going on. We also ship a couple of demos to get you started to see how things work. Part of our mega demo series for Rim Objects SDK, we have a mega demo client written in JavaScript. You notice here it's made up of JavaScript files, HTML files, and a cascading style sheet. If I go ahead and run this demo, you can see it here running in the browser. We have support for both JSON message and bin message format. So we can use the JavaScript object notation message format or the more highly efficient bin message. Go ahead and switch to bin message. This is purely implemented in HTML and JavaScript and behaves exactly like a client would on any other platform. Hit the button, get the result set back. Now if you view the source on this, this is the HTML that we were viewing just in the browser just now. You'll notice this calls RimObjectsSDK.js, which is the client library for creating JavaScript clients. You'll also notice it calls Script.js. Script.js is the application itself that we've written. So you'll notice in here, we have a service object that we call the sum method on in order to do the sum. This would be just like we're implementing this on other platforms. We have a proxy object here that we call methods on and then that proxy object then calls the methods on the remote service. So the proxy object is provided by the mega demo library interface. Now the mega demo library interface is created just like all our other interfaces are through the service builder. If you come in here to service builder, load up your RODL, go to code gen and under JavaScript, you'll notice we have a new option here that generates the interface for our JavaScript clients. Just generate this, save it out, include it in your app client application, and you're ready to go. Now there's three different options for how you're gonna provide this JavaScript and HTML in your client application. The first option is to actually embed all the HTML and JavaScript in the client application itself, which is similar to how you would implement it for PhoneGap or Titanium, or if you're implementing a client for Windows 8 Metro, instead of HTML, you'd be using XAML, but it'll all be embedded 
in the client application. The second option is to publish the HTML and JavaScript on your web server. With both of these options, thanks to cores, the JavaScript is actually able to call back to a different server to get the data. Typically, JavaScript can only call back to the server from where it came from. And then the third option is we've introduced a new component called the JavaScript Dispatcher. If you include the JavaScript Dispatcher in your application, in your custom server, then it will allow you to publish the HTML and JavaScript files through your RimObjects SDK server. Let's go ahead and take a look at a demo for Data Abstract. We have a PC Trade client for Data Abstract here. This consists of HTML files, cascading style sheet, and JavaScript. And this JavaScript is actually a grid component that we've created that provides a very nice grid interface. It makes use of jQuery. jQuery is a JavaScript framework that makes for very robust JavaScript client applications. Now when you run this sample application, it enumerates all of the tables published by the middle tier. And then you can select one of these tables and it gives you a table view in that grid component I was telling you about where you can come in and edit these values and then post them back to the database. When I switch from table to table, it does not redraw the whole page from the server. It only gets the new data from the server. So this reduces the round trips to the server, reduces the server load, because you're not downloading HTML each time. You're just downloading just the data, which would be the same as if you'd written this client in another platform. Now this gallery sample provides an image gallery that is pulled from the database through the middle tier. So each of these images is stored in the database and as I click the button it goes out and grabs the next image through the middle tier and displays it here. We're not posting back and redrawing the entire page, no HTML travels back and forth, just the data that we're working with. Data Abstract provides the same options as RimObjects SDK for how to publish the HTML and JavaScript. You can use a dispatcher and a custom middle tier, or you can publish it on your own web server or embed it in the client application. Just like with all of our platforms, they all maintain wire compatibility. So you can build a JavaScript client application for a server written in Delphi, for a server written in .NET, or like I said, for the real, relatively reusable middle tier. If you'd like more information, you can of course visit our website and check out the RimObjects SDK for JavaScript page or the Data Abstract for JavaScript page. And as always, all of our products are documented in the RimObjects wiki. And once you're ready to go, visit RimObjects.com and download the updated version of Data Abstract for JavaScript or RimObjects SDK for JavaScript and get started today.